All right, turn your voices off. Look up here. Last time we were here, we went outside, we took a picture of a landscape, and then we came inside and we used our three drawing pencils to um, trace this landscape on our iPad. This time, what we're gonna do is we're going to practice using a viewfinder. What a viewfinder is, is when you, you can hold it up to real life and it can help you crop out everything else that you don't want to have on your page. This is really helpful in real life because um, I, over here in this image here, if I was looking at it, I might see trees over here. I see sky all the way up here. Right here might be a mailbox. I want to crop out everything. And the way I'm gonna do that is by using this viewfinder and it kind of shows me the size of my paper and where I want things to be. It also can show me where my point of emphasis is. Um, so right here, if I'm looking at this picture, I would say that my point of emphasis could possibly be right here where this dark spot is. It could be up here in this tree. Um, I would suggest either trying to make one of these buildings my point of emphasis. And the way I do that is by making the highlights brighter in one of these buildings and everything around that highlight darker. Um, so I would go in and I would make everything around this darker, but then maybe a highlight right here on this building because we don't want our point of emphasis to be in the very middle, the very center. And this picture here runs that risk. It, it would still be an interesting picture. It'd still be okay. But typically humans, we don't want the emphasis to be in the very center. I don't know why, but humans, it kind of, we don't like it. We don't like the way it looks. Um, so typically as an artist, what we'll do is we'll push it off center, a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, a little high or a little low. This one is a little low already, and it's a little over here to the right. So this one might make a better point of emphasis, this part of the building. We could add, really add some really bright whites and some dark darks around there. Okay, back to the viewfinder. We're going to practice using the viewfinder not in real life by holding it up at our image and going outside, but first we're going to practice by simply taking our paper that we've already stretched and put onto a board and we are going to lightly draw this uh, this cross here or star that you see here. The way I do that is I start by going from corner to corner. So I line up with one corner line up with the other corner, simply draw a light line. It doesn't need to be um, a dark line, just nice and soft, and then straight up and down and straight across. That lets me know where I'm at on my paper compared to this. So if I need to make this bigger, I'm gonna actually kind of do that so it doesn't have a glare, that's worse. Um, I don't know how to make it not have a glare. Anyways, I'm going to start right here in the very center with this tree, and I'm going to simply map in this tree the way I see it. And then I'm going to map in this house. I can see that it's over here, and I've already got a problem because my paper is going up and down, and this is going landscape. So right now I have my paper portrait, so I need to turn it to the landscape so that both my paper and this are in landscape. Then I'm simply going to mimic this in the shading where I see it. I can tell that this line here is right here, and so I need to actually come lower. I need to bring that house lower. And it could be sloppy and messy like this. I'm simply doing it fast and quick. I want to have that motion within my artwork and I can tell this is right here along this line, like this, and that's what you're going to do. You're simply tracing it, transferring it from one paper to the other, making it slightly larger this time around. You understand? Okay, that's what we're going to do to start with. 